The issue dominating the session of the U.N. General Assembly is the Middle East. On Friday, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas plans to ask the Security Council to recognize a Palestinian state. The U.S. has threatened a veto. On the West Bank, Israeli and Palestinian protesters went at each other today, and Mark Phillips is there. The chair the Palestinians unveiled in Ramallah today, symbolic of the full statehood seat they want at the U.N., was a big one. And so is the trouble it's already causing. Rocks and tear gas were in the air again on the West Bank as hardline Israeli settlers who reject any suggestion of Palestinian statehood attacked the village of al Sira al kibilia Israeli troops moved in to keep the antagonists apart, they said, which seemed to mean firing tear gas canisters at the Arabs. One Palestinian youth was hit in the head and had to be taken to the hospital. The villagers who live near the more militant Israeli settlements are often the first to get hit when feelings are inflamed. You going to stay here or you going to leave? What will you do? No, we, we will stay here. If they kill us, we will stay here. Across the West Bank, settlers were on the march, strutting their warning that whatever the demands Palestinians might make at the UN for them to leave, they aren't going anywhere. The statehood bid hasn't even happened yet, and already tensions on the West Bank are rising. And the fear is that neither the Israelis nor the Palestinian authorities can keep incidents like today's from escalating out of control. The Palestinians have had enough, they say, of endless demonstrations and negotiations with Israel that go nowhere. Their statehood gambit is their attempt to change the political landscape. And how does statehood change the Israeli attitude because we will not we will not play their game we will stop playing their game but the new game may be a dangerous one mark phillips cbs news as sira al kabilia on the west bank